Welcome um, to my YouTube channel. This is Nadiran Tech Pro. Um, this is a new part in our series of uh, deploying a WASL SIM to run the EKS cluster. Um, so in the video we looked at, uh, in this series we are looking at setting up your AWS environment from the point of setting up the AWS environment to the point of accessing the WASL SIM tool. So at this stage uh, we are about to create the EKS cluster. In our last video we were able to set up um, an EC2 instance with um, AWS CLI configure that will enable us to manage the EKS um, cluster using kubectl. So going straight into the video, um, I want you to click on um, EKS Elastic Kubernetes Service. If you don't have that, just type EKS in the search bar and open that. Now once that is open, you click on Add Cluster, Create. Now give the cluster any name you like. Um, I will go with uh, cluster zero zero. You have one point two seven one point. But I always like going with the one point two six versions. Give it that the one point two seven just came out recently. Um, then you'll be asked for a service role this is one of the permissions we created in our previous video remember the role we created we created green cluster we created green node so when you get to this point you'll be asked for that role so just select it it's selected automatically then you click next now you'll be asked to select the vpc where you want to do this so selected this you'll be asked for the subnets um uh, just select all your subnets. Uh, then um, for the security group, we are going with, with the green zero one. Remember. Then for uh, the um, IP address family, leave it at IPv4. Then, if you understand how containerization works, Kubernetes, there's a networking. Um, there's a networking being done within the pods and services. Now, this networking done within the pods and services has its own IP addressing scheme that is not routable within the EC2 instances. If you had this on premises, this IP addressing scheme is not routable within the uh, virtual machines or host itself. So it's just an internal routing. So at this point, you can leave it randomly, but I like to do this myself to ensure that I have my hands on everything. So given that I know my IP address subnet, I'm choosing an entirely different subnet from the, um, the one I have. So this is the address I'm choosing to go by. Yeah, so... Then I like to go with public private. Uh, if you go with public, it means that uh, the, your your um your control plane in Kubernetes we have a control plane and we have worker nodes. The worker nodes do the work and the control plane controls the worker nodes and the cluster. Now in EKS, AWS manages your control plane while your worker nodes handles the deployment, you know, it does the work. So, set, selecting public option here, what it means is that your communication within the worker nodes to AWS managed control plane will be routed through the public and you would access your services through the public. But if you select public-private, it means the communication between your worker nodes to AWS managed control plane would be private but you can access the services publicly. But if you select private, it means everything stays private. So based on what I want to do, I'll be going with public private and I click next. Uh, you can choose to log what you are going to log here, but this is not um, a production implementation, so I don't care about the login for now. Then I click next. Now, this is where you select your add-ons so this provided to us by default um, you can select that duty if you want but i don't really want to add any other thing i just like these three i'll select next um, 
all these are selected based on com compatibility you have the drop down to change it if you want but they are selected based on compatibility so i'll go with next this is just a review of everything we've done then we create now while we are waiting for this to create uh once this is created, the next thing will be to go back to the EC2 instance that we created in our last video. The EC2 instance we created earlier on, sorry. And then do um, the whole uh, configuration of linking this cluster to that EC2 instance for us to be able to manage the EC2 instance and the worker nodes. So while we are waiting for this, I will wrap this video here. In our next video, we would have been done creating the cluster and uh, then we will look at setting up our worker nodes and then eventually the deployment of the Wazo SIM tool. This is the Nigerian Tech Bro YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe, click the like, hit the like button, leave a comment, no matter how it may sound. Thank you. <laughs> Just another IT guy, by the way. <laughs>